Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you the updated strategy I have deployed for my Crypto Hopper bot trading on the Binance Exchange. I've been getting quite a few questions lately on the video I uploaded back in May, and the reality is the market has changed. Uh, back in May, we were more in a consolidating market. If we take a look over at Bitcoin's chart, I think I uploaded that video around May 21st, and the market was basically flat. It was just consolidating sideways. So at the beginning of August, we actually see the bulls start stepping up and we are definitely in a bullish trend, upwards trend. And therefore, I had to tweak my strategy. So something to keep in mind, what I'm showing you in these videos is how to. It's educational information, not investment or strategy per se. Uh, it's, it's more to show you how to utilize these weapons that are available like these automated trading bots. All right, enough of that. Let's get to the actual changes that I've made. If I scroll down, I can show you some of my most recent history trades. Now these Zill trades, if you're watching my videos, those are based on TradingView and the alerts from TradingView coming in and signaling a buy and then selling based on my uh, setup for the trailing stop loss. Uh, so most of those zills are going to be that, but here's vet vet actually was based on strategy and sold successfully. And again, another vet as well. I think there's some here's engine on the new strategy that I deployed and sold for a profit. ICX, same thing, strategy, buy, sell, and then link strategy i think both these links are strategy yeah link and link on the strategy on the new strategy now i manually sold this link and that was due to the fact that i was actually sitting at my computer with the screen up and i could see weakness and link was actually selling off and i chose to take the profit and it's a good thing i did otherwise this would have turned into a loss so Another powerful feature, if you're like me, I have screens pulled up on either side here that I watch constantly and I will get in and out of positions based out off of what I see happening on these screens. And Crypto Hopper allows you to manually close out. Most bots do. Uh, so let's get to the actual changes that I've made. So we'll jump over here to strategies. And the strategy I've deployed based on the current bull market moving up is RSI 20 and RSI 30. And most of the coins actually fall under this RSI 30 strategy. And what that just basically means is I'm looking for it to become oversold and then cross over or back up above the 30 oversold line. So if we take a look at engines chart what i'm basically looking for is it to become oversold and move back above and try to take profit on that move up assuming it doesn't come back down and stop me out and engine i believe i actually have configured under one of my pools because it actually performs better when it comes above the 20 rather than the 30 and but you can see the little purple line in here is that 30 and i'm looking for it to come down below and move above to give you an idea of how rsi oversold would look on a chart now we jump back over to the strategy on crypto hopper i can click on the edit and show you i'm using the 15 minute candles this is a buy signal and it is necessary i do it based on the close RSI period of 14 uh, oversold threshold is going to be that 30 and signal on region when it moves into or above basically the 30 uh, overbought would be 80 but I'm not actually doing any shorting on this particular bot and I want to keep the signal for two candles and that will assure me the opportunity to engage the target now one thing to consider is your subscriptions, which you can get in the link down below. You can get a free subscription, but each level of the subscription has a different time interval. Your basic will check for targets every 10 minutes. The next step up is every 
five minutes. And then the top of the line, it'll check your strategy every two minutes. So there's an opportunity for Crypto Hopper to miss a signal. If it's not looking, you know, but every 10 minutes you're on 15 minute candles. Let's say the candles five minutes in, but the hopper had just checked it and won't check it again for another 10 and the signal comes in another five. Well, you're going to miss that signal. So that's the reason I choose two candles is to try to ensure that I pick up that signal. And that's the basic settings of this strategy. And I could add other indicators if I so chose, maybe one that confirms the trend. You could do a moving average or something along those lines. But I am having success with this particular strategy. I'll show you on the back test. If we click the back test tab over here. And so we'll run a couple back tests here. We'll start with ADA. We'll load my existing configuration, which is RSI crossing 30. And we'll hit start back test. And we can see that the maximum profit would be 4%. And our success would be 58 wins versus 85 losses, a 40% win rate versus a 59% loss rate. And the reason why we are successful is my risk versus reward. My stop loss is always lower than my take profit and giving me a positive risk versus reward. So if I'm wrong, I lose say around 1%, but if I'm right, I would gain around 2%. So in that case, I would have a one to two risk versus reward and I don't have to be right all the time in order for that to be profitable. I can actually be right 33% of the time and break even. So that's kind of the importance of risk versus reward. Now let's go ahead and test a couple more. We'll go for Adam and we can see with Adam we're looking at a 7% max profit and our win of 57 versus 67 again around a 45 percent win rate and that's a winning strategy let's take a look at let's say eos and with eos we have a 14 percent max profit 73 wins 62 percent win rate 43 losses a 37 so that again that risk versus reward the more i increase my win rate obviously the more profitability i'm going to experience and let's go ahead and i'm going to show you an example i know engine this is something i trade on a daily basis does not perform as i stated earlier when we looked at the chart does not perform so well under the 30 cross but does much better under the 20 cross as you can see it looks like it's 0.72 profitability 51 wins 36 percent win rate with 90 losses and 63 so i'm barely above that 33 percent i mentioned earlier with that risk versus reward now we can take a look at the rsi 20 on this particular one crossing the 20 and see what difference it, that makes. And in this case, I've actually configured a pool for a few of the coins that perform better under the RSI crossing over 20 versus the 30. And here we can see the max profit jumps up from that 0.72 to four, almost 5%. Now granted, we had a lot less trades. We had 15 winning trades, but that's an 83% win rate, only three losses and 16% uh, loss rate. So we got better signals for engine. Now, if you want, take the time, you can test all the other coins under the 20, but I can tell you there's only a handful that actually perform better under crossing 20 versus 30. The 30 is actually the better configuration for the majority of the coins that I have selected. And with that all being said, let's jump back over to the base config and I'll show you all the different settings I have configured for this particular bot. And you'll see the first things the name is Binance RSI. The exchange is going to be Binance with my API keys. I have email notification for just the trades only, my buy settings. 
I have market order for the type of order. I have a maximum open time of four minutes on Binance with a market order. It fills pretty much instantly. You don't wait around. Uh, maximum open positions I have set at 22. I don't even think I have that many coins selected. Max percentage open positions per coin. It's set at four, which will result in a maximum of one open position per coin. I only want one open position per coin. That's why it's not actually four. It will result in one. I do not enable cooldown time. You might want to consider it as it is a valuable tool when we see those flash crashes. The next item is only one open buy order per coin. Again, I only want one position per coin, so this would only make sense that I have that enabled. And only buy when there's positive pairs. I don't enable that. And auto merge, I don't enable that. Coins and amounts. I'm trading on USDT is the base currency. And then the coins I have selected are BTC, ETH, LTC, Quantum, ADA, XRP, EOS, XLM, ONT, ETC, ICX, VET, LINK, ZIL, BAT, ZEC, OMG, ENJ, ADAM, ALGO, and XTZ. Now I had IOTA in my selected coins, but it did not perform well on either strategy. I actually could not get it to perform well under any strategy. So I can simply click on IOTA, it bumps it back over to available coins, and now I have my 21 coins selected. We'll come on down. Percentage buy amount, I have set at nine. This would be at approximately $135. Minimum amount, which is $100 to ensure that I'm getting at least $100 every time I enter. And then the maximum amount I have allocated right now is $1,500. And that's the most I'm gonna let this bot play with. Uh, strategy, again, the strategy is that RSI crossing 30. I do not use signals. Number of targets to buy, the max is nine. So I think the max is 10 actually, but I have it set at nine. Trailing stop buy, I do not have enabled as the trailing stop buy ideally works if the price is continuing to move down, it will wait to buy until it reverses. This strategy, the price is already reversed and is moving up, should be, and crossing over the 30 oversold side. So this would not really actually apply to this strategy. Sell settings, I have take profit at two and a half percent, market order, and maximum open sell time is four minutes again, but on Binance, if you're sending over a market order, at least on the coins I've selected, and that's another important factor is when you're selecting coins, make sure there's enough volume that if you're in it, you can get out of it. All the coins I've selected have a very good amount of volume. Sell strategy, I don't sell based on my strategy. Stop loss I, on this particular setup, I have set up at 1.09%. You've got to have a stop loss, otherwise you're going to get absolutely murdered and you will bleed off all your profits. I can't tell you how many people have, you know, 5%, I've seen 10%, 15%, and their take profit set at like 5 They've got to be right like 75 or 80% of the time to just break even. That is not how elite traders perform. Their stop loss percentage will be small. You wanna keep your losses small. I don't know why you'd be willing to have these big losses hoping this thing will turn around for you. I'd rather get out and then get right back in if it turns out that it is gonna move up. The trailing stop loss is how I generally take my profits. So I have that enabled and the Trigger point will be two and a half percent, which you can see I'm over a one to two. My risk is one, my reward is two, essentially. And that is a favorable risk versus reward. I do allow it to have a little bit of range to pull back and move, continue to move back up, and that's 0.4, but I don't wanna give up all my profit either. I see people that will have this figure, like half this figure. Why, why would you give up half of your target pro profit? I give up a small amount to give it a chance to 
continue to move up, but I'm not going to give away all my profit. And I do enable the use trailing stop loss only and reset after failed orders. Again, I don't recall seeing failed orders on Binance. I don't do auto close. This bot is not set up to short sell and I never dollar cost average when I'm day trading. And that is the basic configurations. Now we do need to take a quick look over at config pools and you will see that six of the 21 coins, I believe it is, perform better on the RSI 20 strategy rather than the crossing 30 strategy. And so under settings, you name it, you have to enable it and you can select by clicking on a coin it will select from your coins that you actually have selected over in your strategy so this list is only of the 20 some that were over there and i could same thing i could remove one of these coins like engine and it'll pop it back over here now i actually want engine over there so let's move it back over there and now engines back over here and go on to the buy settings is going to be market open time of four which is pretty much the same strategy is where i actually changed that i had changed from the rsi crossing 30 to the rsi crossing 20. trailing stop buy again i don't have that turned on sell settings are the same don't use the cells under my strategy stop loss is the same and you could tweak this figure if you did some recon and saw the coins performing differently you could have a different stop loss or even a different take profit figure there's a few of these coins that i could probably bump this figure up or lower it on there and then auto close and dollar cost average doesn't apply and it's enabled and ready to go we'll jump back over to the dashboard the hopper is enabled and live ready to buy and we come down and we'll take a look at the signals and you can see ADA's at 52 43 and what I'm looking at right here is nothing appears to be close to the 30 or 20 level so once it is somebody was at 30 their quantum might be working its way down there and what I'm really looking for, and what you could consider this, is a counterattack. It has, what I'm looking for is, are these coins that sell off, but they're starting to counterattack and move back up. I certainly don't want to be buying just as it's dropping. Catching a falling knife is, is not something I care to do. I want to actually see it reversing and going back up. And that's what this strategy is based on. And with that all being said, before you just go copying everything that I've shown you, you need to take into consideration what coins are you going to actually trade. If you copy all my coins, you might want to actually go back and look at some charts and see how they perform based on what you're copying. Also, you want to consider, are we in a bull market? Are we in a consolidating market, a bull market? If this turns down, now we're in a bear market. I'll have different settings. So a week from now, if everything changes, that means I'm going in and tweaking my bot. I make adjustments to my bot on a regular basis. If you're looking for a set it and forget it strategy, my strategies aren't gonna be for you. I'm a day trader, I'm an active trader. I'm involved in the markets on a regular basis. And that pretty much wraps it up. So be sure to subscribe as I do frequently do update videos. So you wanna be subscribed so you can see those updated videos. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, do that down below in the comment section. Also down below in the description is that link so you can sign up for your subscription to Crypto Hopper. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.